Hello and welcome to the Capital Contrarian. In this first entry into the fixed income series, we're going to cover government bonds. We will review the different types and cover some of the pros and cons associated with this particular asset. A government bond is a debt security that's issued by a government to support the government's spending and obligations. Government bonds are considered low-risk investments since it's the government that backs them. There are various types of bonds that we will cover later in this video but the ones that are offered by the U.S. Treasury are considered to be among the safest in the world. Now, because of their relatively low risk, government bonds typically pay low interest rates compared to other asset classes. Let's quickly cover an uncommon payment structure before moving on to the different types of bonds. Government bonds are typically sold as periodic payment securities, as we've discussed in the intro to the fixed income video, but can also be sold as zero coupon bonds, also known as accrual bonds. Periodic bonds will have payments to the owner of the bond typically on monthly to annual timeframes. The zero coupon bond, however, will accrue all interest that is owed to the bond owner and pay the full amount at the maturity date. Let us cover a few examples of traditional government bonds. The U.S. Treasury offers Series EE bonds and Series I savings bonds. These bonds sell at face value and have a fixed rate of interest. Bonds held for 20 years will reach their face value and effectively double. Series I bonds will have a semi-annual secondary rate that is calculated and tied to an inflation rate. T-notes are intermediate-term bonds maturing in 2, 3, 5, or 10 years that provide fixed returns. T-notes typically have a $1,000 face value. However, the 2- and 3-year maturities have a $5,000 face value. T-bonds, on the other hand, are long-term and have a maturity between 10 to 30 years. T-bonds give interest payments semi-annually and have $1,000 face values. These bonds are typically used to regulate the nation's money supply and execute U.S. monetary policy. Treasury Inflation Protected Securities TIPS, are a treasury security index to inflation. They protect investors from the adverse effects of rising prices. Their principal increases or decreases depending on the current inflationary environment, following the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. TIPS pay a fixed rate of interest determined on the bond's auction on a six-month basis. However, interest payment amounts vary since the rate applies to the adjusted principal value of the bond. TIPS will have maturities of 5, 10, and 30 years. Local governments may also issue bonds as municipal bonds, or munis, that will often carry certain tax advantages and exemptions for investors. Munis can be thought of as loans that investors make to local governments, and they're used to fund public works such as parks, roads, libraries, and other infrastructure. They may be funded via local tax dollars or by the revenue that's generated from the project. In conclusion, government bonds are one of the safest assets that an investor can buy. If you believe that the U.S. government will still be around by the maturity date, then it is guaranteed that the bond will too. This investment class will always have a place in a balanced portfolio, but you should do your own additional research to see how they will best fit in with your portfolio. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Fixed Income Series on the Capital Contrarian. Let us know your thoughts on government bonds. Please check out the upcoming videos in this series and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.